So word on the streets is that Steve Harvey might have had a huge role to play in Wendy Williams' downfall because he plotted against her and tried to ruin her career. This drama started because Wendy threw shade at Steve's family, so Steve declared war on Wendy and tried to go after her bag. But does this mean that Steve had a big hand in why Wendy's career flopped? Okay you guys, so y'all know how I said that Wendy Williams' life is kind of a hot mess right now. We all thought that her messy life started after her husband had a baby on her, she got divorced, had to pay him alimony, got sick, lost her show, and then had her money seized by Wells Fargo. Yeah, our girl Wendy has been through a lot, but what most people don't realize is that the mess started before all of this. It actually started a few years before that because it goes way back to when Steve Harvey tried to kill her career. Steve Harvey and Wendy Williams once had beef that was so bad that he actively tried to ruin her career and ruin her. I mean, there was a time when Wendy had beef with so many celebs that it was kind of hard to keep track of them all. I mean, she was always spilling tea and dragging celebs, so it's not really surprising that many of them didn't like her. But with Steve Child, the beef was personal. Now, most celebs who hated Wendy mostly just kept her at arm's length or ignored her altogether, but not Steve because he came for her, and he came for her where he knew that it was going to hurt, her talk show. Now, if there is one thing that we know that Steve doesn't joke about, it's his wife and his kids. Well, his adopted kids, because we know that he don't be caring too much about his biological kids. But Child, you'll never find him playing about Marjorie's kids. And even among Marjorie's kids, it's clear that Steve loves Lori the most because he even used to take her on father-daughter dates, which is something that he didn't do with his own daughters. On one of our annual father-daughter dates in my favorite Japanese restaurant, and you just started talking to me about guys, and you just told me that you, you know, always supported me and you'd always be there for me no matter what, and you loved me unconditionally. He never even had a relationship with his biological son, Roderick, until the boy turned 16. I didn't really have my dad full time into my life until I was 16, right? So yes, yeah, Steve favors Lori and it's so bad that it has caused drama within the family. An inside source said, Steve did the right thing, adopted Marjorie's kids and loves them like his own, but there's a lot of dissension among the blended Harvey clan. There has unfortunately been some jealousy lingering amongst the siblings over Lori, who's the most famous of all Steve's kids, taking over the spotlight with her high profile love life. So y'all can imagine if someone tried to comfort Lori and embarrass her publicly, yeah, Steve would flip out and that's exactly what happened to Wendy Williams when she publicly embarrassed and shamed Lori. We know that Lori used to date Future and I'm not gonna lie, this was a very questionable decision on her part cause we all know Future is for the streets. But hey, it's her life and all that stuff and she can date who she wants to date. But like I said, Wendy was messy AF and she shamed Lori on her talk show. They were in Jamaica celebrating her 23rd birthday, but all the girls were there. Jordan Woods, Tiana Taylor, all them hot girls were there, okay? And Future has eight kids with eight babies' moms. <laughs> Lori wasn't born a Harvey. Steve adopted her when he got with Marjorie, his wife, but she got with him on some Okay, this whole thing was super unnecessary and it was kind of weird how she brought up the fact that Lori is not Steve's biological daughter. I mean, it wasn't even relevant to the topic of Lori's relationship with Future and I kind of felt like she only brought up the topic to embarrass Lori even more. But if you think that was messy, well, Wendy had more to say and this time she came for Marjorie and Steve because she attacked them for their parenting. Saying is Steve, I hope you and Marjorie are very proud of your daughter. Uh, at 23 years old, being with a man with so many children, and running around and she then threatened to harm Lori. If this was my daughter at 23, I would break her neck, crack her skull and throw her down the steps. This was so messed up that she got called out online by fans for being cruel. Someone said, I'm really about to stop watching Wendy Williams. Talking about how she would throw Lori Harvey down the steps and crack her skull if she was her parent because of her dating history. Then proceed to talk about how she's heard some things about her. Disgusting. And this other person said, dude, Wendy Williams, I gotta say it, but darn, she's got a problem with shaming. The way she talked about Lori Harvey today was borderline dangerous. I throw my daughter down the steps and break her bones ain't something I say to my daughter no matter how many men she's been with. I think that Wendy's history of being messy and sometimes disrespectful of other people is the reason she hasn't exactly been getting a lot of support from the industry. I mean, we've all seen how much support and love Jamie Foxx has been getting from everyone in the industry in the past couple of weeks. 
but Wendy's life has been upside down for the past couple of years, and I don't think I've seen any celeb publicly show her love. I mean, it's one thing to spill tea, but it's another thing to be downright mean about it. Anywho, back to Steve and how he got his revenge on Wendy. Not long after Wendy talked about Lori, she fell sick and had to take some time away from the show. Now the timing of this was very wrong because there was already some talk at Fox Network about canceling her show. Her health issues meant that she had to take some time off from the show and well the execs were worried about what this would mean for the show. The timing was perfect for Steve because his show had recently been canceled by NBC and insiders claimed that he was furious about this. But then, how better to make a big return than to take the time slot of the woman who dragged your daughter and embarrassed you? Once reports of Wendy's absence started going around, Steve immediately started eyeing her spot and even made moves to secure the spot. If Steve took Wendy's spot, not only would he get his revenge on her, but he would also stick the finger to NBC for canceling his show. According to an insider at the time, the Fox guys see Steve as a big enough name and word in the industry is the way he's been treated by NBC, he feels they don't deserve him. They are considering a few people who could be a ratings hit in case Wendy needs more time to get better. Steve is all about one thing, winning. And if he goes back to a show run by a big network, they will pump lots of money into it. And he thinks it will get him back on the top of the TV ratings. It would have been the perfect revenge for Steve because Wendy's career would have gone down the drain in the blink of an eye. I mean, we've all been following her career for the past couple of years and how everything has gone to dust since then. That's what would have happened to her show if Steve's plan had gone through, but it didn't. And Wendy lived to fight another day. But unfortunately, things haven't worked out so well for her since then. And people feel like it's all karma for the bad things that she said about people over the years. As I said before, she kind of went overboard with the Lori thing. And unlike Jamie Foxx, people aren't exactly on her side here. Ever since her career went down the drain, there have been comments like, what's happening with Wendy Williams' money is terrible and I hate that that happened to her, but something in me feels like it's karma for all the nasty things that she said about people over the years just to earn that money. Wendy Williams slowly deteriorating is the karma she deserves for being so vile and nasty to so many people. She should suffer for as long as possible. And can't nobody make me feel bad for Wendy Williams. How sick she is right now, karma don't skip over nobody. Even though Steve tried and failed to kill Wendy's career by himself, people feel like karma took care of that on his behalf. But do you guys think that Wendy's troubles are a result of bad karma? Let me know what your thoughts are and then check out this next video.